Yeah, but Mark, the tackling I was saying of the Kilkenny forwards maybe wasn't there in the Leinster final, but it's certainly there today, and particularly, as I say, when Tariq Mara gets on the ball, he's been surrounded very, very quickly. Tuck out goes straight down the middle. Richie Power got a touch, but it's Patrick Bonamar that gathers it, goes long again down towards Noel McGrath. JJ Delaney sweetly giving it outside. That's Kilkenny. Go for distance again, down towards own Lockett, who's now operating at the edge of the square, despite number 12 in his back. Trying to get inside Paul Kern. Nips in Michael Cahill. Good stuff from the terrier-like cornerback from Carlos Town. Wonderful play by the left cornerback. Kilkenny man down injured as the temporary lights go into the attack. Noel McGuire hits it, but the umpire is going to signal white. Remains six points to five. Getting a knock in that particular sequence was Paul Murphy from Dainsford. All Ireland intermediate medal back in 2010. And again, the words are being exchanged. And Cahill McAllister, the referee, is telling everybody to calm down. 16 minutes gone. We have 11 points between the two teams and plenty of talking points. Yeah, Paul Murphy got a heavy knock there. And, uh, you know, Tara Burke, a bad wide a minute ago. Noel McGrath, another poor wide there. And uh, I just... Kilkenny in the middle of the field, Michael Rice and Michael Fenley seem to be getting a bit of a foothold there and they're winning an awful lot of possession. Goes down far as Michael Fennell. Aidan Fogarty has already scored twice. Ball inside, hops nicely for TJ Reid. He has the space, Fennelly is to his left, there's a goal opportunity. Oh, brilliant save by Brendan Cummins. The clearance is not made, here comes Owen Lock and the pressure is still on Tipperary. It's inside the large rectangle, no penalty given. The ball comes out just a little bit and it's a free out to the Premier County. But should it have been a penalty? Was it a free out? Michael Dyken. Well, that's, uh, that, that passage of play could be crucial in the game. Uh, TJ Reid straight through and goes, did the unselfish thing, passed it over to Conal Fenley. Brendan Cummins stayed in his feet very, very well. Then they failed to clear it, so we'll just get another look at Owen Larkin intercepted it here, gets the ball. You know, there wasn't enough, that they held their ground of what they were supposed to do, and he, you know, he went to ground, so I think the ref got it right. Certainly looks like uh, that he did, as uh, the ball was all over the sideline, there's a hard pull. And again, there's a little bit of uh, tension along the sideline. Let's just watch this again. Yeah, wild enough pull there with Tariq Maher, one-handed and could win the line ball in, but that, you know, really, Kilkenny don't miss goal chances like that. That was a great chance of a goal and they didn't take it and uh, it'll be interesting to see does that come back to haunt them. Blood substitute on from Michael Rice. And Brian Cody uh, looks incensed as well and he's uh, coming out to John Sexton and uh, I have to see Brian Cody really annoyed but he's very angry there as the ball continues on in towards uh, the large rectangle. Paul Murphy is back there. Kilkenny, you can see these two teams. There is an adrenaline rush on the pitch in Grove Park. Both of these counties are really determined to win this All Ireland semi final. Kilkenny have introduced Killian Buckley for blood substitute, as a blood substitute for Michael Rice. So if you see number 22, that's Killian Buckley. Of course, TJ Reid brilliantly caught. Hits a shot. That is a magnificent score. By TJ Reid. Yeah, and he's been much more involved in the game. Just watch it again here. An absolutely brilliant catch. A player, you know, that comes into the game under pressure because, you know, when he started, it doesn't normally go as well as when he comes on as a sub. But that's a great catch and a great point, and he's really working hard so far in the game. But Kenny with a two point advantage. Comes out first, JJ Delaney. Plays the ball down that far sideline. Out there first, Paul Kerr, ahead of Old Larkin. Goes high up towards Lark Corbett. Ball is there. Available. Gathering. Is Brian O'Mara. Giving inside to Patrick Bonomar. But the referee's whistle is blown. And there is a free in for Tipperary. Yeah, Brian O'Mara again, as mentioned earlier, that's the second time he's been fouled for a free since the start of the game. Uh, you know, I think Tip are going to be very happy with this, Marty. You know, if he puts this over to only a pint down, they really haven't settled down at all. And Kilkenny are doing most of the hurling and yet there'll only be a pint ahead and take Lara. Lara seems to be, you know, he's running all over the place, hasn't settled down and I think Tipper are a little bit like that. He's getting involved, 
you know, doing a lot of talking to other Kilkenny players and, you know, I think they need to settle, but they're going to be delighted only a point down now at this one. Tom Burke with his third point of the match, all of them from freeze. And now, just one point between the teams. Batted away and won the ground. Only far is Brian Hogan. He's going for it. Brendan Cummins. Safe and sound as always. Lays it off quickly. To his left corner back, Michael Cow. Lark Horner. First touch. Hurler of the year 2010. Skips away from the challenge. In first power book. It's a thorough assertion and special. It could have been if it worked out. Is on the floor. Temporary players are protesting to the referee, and again, Carl McAllister is coolness personified. Yeah, great hand pass here by Lara, what he does into Tarbrook, and Tommy comes across there. Didn't see very much there again, and I think Carl McAllister again got it right. I don't think Power kind of hit the deck rather easily, to be honest. But he won't get soft freeze with Carl McAllister. No, that's for sure, but there's still Tipperary. With the slither, the referee has given a free end this time. As I speak. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair to Carl McAllister, the games I've seen him, he, he allows play to develop and he allows a lot of the physical Absolutely. side of the game. Here's Tab out there. Is it Tommy coming in from behind? Yeah, it was um, maybe just a little nudge on the back there. He does, he lets the game flow um, within the rules, I think. At the starter, he was sensible. There was a lot of stuff going on. And if he started pulling everything and pulling players, aside, he would have stopped the whole momentum of the game. And he's let it develop, and we've had a great first 20 minutes, plenty of good scores, and it's settled down. In fairness, there hasn't been a dirty stroke in the game so far. This is Pa Burke. And the way he's... Uh, the body language would suggest he might have a crack at this. He has the wind behind him. Here's Burke. Going for a pretty little stop, comes back out to McGann. Still available. It's on the small rectangle. John O'Brien is there, and the young umpire has his arm raised to say it is a 65 for Tipperary. But a brilliant shot from Pat Bark, but an equally brilliant save here. Just watch. He hit a rasper, stopped by Tommy Walsh. Yeah, it was a great save. And the rebound, if you watch Michael Fenley coming in after the rebound here, if it, if it goes to it, he made a, a very important um, interception. He got his hurling when Pat Bark went to double end. So Pat Bark going to take this 65. As James McGrath points to the exact position. Declan Ryan in his second year in charge. Of course, many of these young players were part of his Tipperary minor team to win the All-Ireland five years ago. Pa Burke looks, focuses, and hits it. Spot on. Four points for Pa Burke in this All-Ireland semi-final. And the sides level for the fourth time. Yeah, and his free taking looks very, very assured today. And Kilkenny has to be careful giving away frees because he strikes the ball very, very well. Puck out by David Herity, and again, it's TJ Reid. Brilliant under the high ball, down towards Finnelly. Takes the shoulder, skips away from Michael Cal and goes towards goal with the short grip. That's a really, really quality point by Colin Finnelly. He took the hits, he worked hard, used the short grip, and floated it over the bar. That's a super score, Marty. Great first touch and gets away. And you have to say, all the Kilkenny forwards so far have looked to have the beaten at our men, and yet they're only a point ahead. Loose ball comes out first, Brendan Maher. It's a shoulder on Brian Hogan. Killian Buckley is the number 22. Still on for the injured Michael Rice. Ball into specs. Paul Kerr should get there first. Chased by Owen Larkin. I think Paul was already trying to decide what he was going to do with the slither rather than focusing on the ball itself. He apologises to everybody. But it's a soft 65 for Kilkenny. Great catch again there by TJ Reid. TJ Reid is brilliant under the high ball, isn't he? He is absolutely brilliant, having a great game. But I was saying that the Kilkenny forwards, are, throughout the field generally, you couldn't say any temporary man is really dominating, and yet there's only a point in the game, and they'll be happy with that. Henry Shuffle. Try and stretch. The Cats lead to two. From the 65. Straight over the bar. 
So with 24 minutes gone, it's Kilkenny nine points, Tipperary seven. Let's go down to the sideline to Claire McNamara. Uh, yes, Marty, we understand that Michael Rice uh, just gone off there for treatment for a hand injury. He is now going to go to hospital, so his semi-final is over. Sad news for Michael Rice and a big blow indeed for Kilkenny. Thanks very much, Claire. as the ball goes back down in towards Conor O'Brien and Michael Cahill. Both cornerbacks are there, half blocked by Finnelly. Cahill comes in to assist his colleague and uh, that scores out over the end line. That's, a, that's a 65. It should be a 65. I think it was, yeah. I think, it, looking at it initially, I thought, I thought it was a 65. We get a chance to look at it again here. If you look at Michael Cahill there, he kicks it out over the line. and That's definitely a 65. Long puck out from Brendan Cummins. Once again, it's Kieran Joyce. Out of that Kilkenny defence, full of heart, full of spirit. And I think that incident that Michael Rice, when he hurt the hand, um, to go back to it, it Tariq Mara came up and pulled a wild stroke with one hand on the sideline. Now he did, it wasn't, a, it was down on the ball, but it was one handed, and obviously the hurl flew up along and, and caught Michael Rice. And that's why I think that's why Brian Cody got so animated at the time, he wasn't happy about the, the stroke. We believe it's a tendon injury in his hand. We wish Michael Rice. Uh, a quick recovery as uh, Tipperary go back into the attack. And it's the first time that I've seen TJ Reid actually being beaten for a high ball, and that was by Tariq Maher. That's right, and that's the first time I think Tariq Maher's been in the game. And Tommy Walsh hasn't been in the game, and Lara Corbett hasn't been in the game. And, you know, it's amazing. You spend a week t talking about players, and sometimes, you know, it doesn't... It, the ball avoids them in the game or whatever, but it's a long way to go yet. And here comes Henry. To his right, Richie Parr. To his left, TJ Reid. Shefflin had options available. Richie to his right, TJ to his left. He went left, and the result is what you see on your screen. Right into the back of the net. Marty, that's a brilliant goal. If you watch Henry Shefflin going through, he, he, he changed hands, hand passed the ball with his right hand, about a 20 foot yard pass into TJ Reid, and a brilliant goal. It changes that scoreline dramatically. Kilkenny 1-9, Tipperary 7 points. And remember, Kilkenny are without Michael Rice, as uh, Claire told us a short time ago, is heading to hospital with a tendon injury in that hand. And it's very seldom you see Brian Cody so animated, so angry along the sideline. But that tells the story there as the ball is dropping in. Dangerous ball battered away by Michael Cahill. Coming forward is Michael Finnell. Getting a little hurl in to Shane McGrath. Picked up by O'Mahony to Shane McGrath. Two North Tipperary lads. And between them, unfortunately, they can't clear it. Under pressure, the linesman, James McGrath, indicates that it is a Kilkenny ball. That was incredible play by Michael Fenley. Conor Manny got it, he couldn't get away from him. He gave it back to Shane McGrath. And just the pure power of him. He just just completely overpowered both Conor Manny and, uh, and Shane McGrath there. And Kilkenny ended up winning the line ball. Quick sideline cut from TJ Reid for his own Larkin, sending it in low. Easily cut out by Thomas Stapleton, using the wind to his backs. So remember, Tipperary are playing with the wind in this first half. Coming across is Richie Power, 14 in his back, but playing at centre half forward. Steps by the challenge, the referee has blown his whistle because Richie was taking too many steps, and that's going to be a free for the Premier County. Yeah, but Kenny looked much sharper. Marty much fresher and uh, you know they're winning all the 50-50 battles at the moment. Ball drops in. David Herity is there behind a pretty impressive full back oh, line oh, so oh, oh, Paul Murphy, J.J. Oh, Delaney and Jackie Terrell. Ball again aimed at TJ Reid. Oh Larkin is hovering. Reid showing some nice stick work. Gathers it into the hand and away he goes again. But this time he passes it straight to Brendan Ma. Maher first, Shane McGrath, two midfielders combined, goes long up towards Patrick Bonamar, and this time Kid Kenny, not surprisingly, wins the one-to-one -one tussle up front. Coming forward is Jackie Terrell, three temporary lads around him, gives a pair of zone, Larkin, once domiciled in the full forward line, now out around midfield. 
goes for distance. Trying to get a shot in was Colin Finlay. Picked up this time by Parig Ma. Puts the brakes on, changes direction, uses the short grip and goes down towards Patrick Bonamar. Coming across the 